your character going to look for redemption from anybody over what she previously done, or is she not going to Oh, Gabrielle never not cares. <laughs> she always cares. So I think we can say that she she will be still very invested, if not more, with um, having a part in it. She seems to relish the fact that she always had this purpose to torture. Yes. Will she become a larger threat in the season two, or is she sort of holding back because I guess she's being given a second chance? Um, well... As far as I'm concerned, I know she's being still accepted into the Order, um, because that's where she's left off in Season 1, She that they give her a second chance. Um, but I think I think people did really respond to her darker side, so I think she might maybe play with that a little bit more. can't really say, yeah. <laughs> what is it been like for you to watch the fans for this show? Very strong, such a loyal fan base. Yeah. It's been really cool. Um, actually, it's really funny because um, I think Netflix posted a, an image of Gabrielle, like right when, right when this, the premiere happened, and my mom was looking through the comments. And, and I mean, like, Gabrielle's not, no, I know. Well, and Gabrielle's not the nicest person on the series, you know what I mean? Like, she's not the hero. But, but my, I guess my mom kind of took it to heart and she was like reading she's like, can I swear here or no? Yeah. Oh, okay. And they're like, oh, they're, they're calling you really mean names. They're like calling you a B-I-T-C-H. Like, they're calling you a bitch and blah, blah. She's like, I'm going to respond to them. I'm going to respond to them. Like, mom, don't respond. Like, it's totally fine. I was like, they're just like really invested and you know, they believe my character. She's like, well, they should know that you're an actor. Like, they should just know that it's a character. I was like, it's okay, mom. Like, it's all chill. Like, it's fine. But yeah, my mom's very invested with the fans. <laughs> What's been some of the more fun parts about playing such a villainous character? Right. Um, just like that, playing the villainous character. Um, but I think with her, it's like it's more than just like her with her power. It's just like she does have this void in her life that she's trying to fill, and the order does give her a sense of purpose. So I think it goes much deeper to like I'm gonna torture you, but just the fact that like she was given a purpose and she wants to relish in it is, has been really really fun. Um, and yeah, I guess the torture scenes are fun too. <laughs> <laughs> Making them bleed and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and Gabrielle too is part of it there. Brandon's for quite a lot of the season. She had kind of her helper basically. And yes. right at the end he runs off. So we're gonna see them sort of meet up again and see what happens, you know, because she's probably gonna be a bit pissed. I can't say that, unfortunately. Um, but she I don't know. So will there be more interactions between the two of them? <laughs> I'm sorry? So she couldn't say about the interactions. Is she having interactions with Um well we just actually did a reading for the panel and she has a lot of interactions with um, Vera because I feel like she's like trying to like like cuddle cozy up to her, you know what I mean? Um, and there's going to be some fun things just within the order, pretty much, I think. Yeah, that's all I can say. I'm, like, trying really hard. <laughs> can you tell I'm, like, filtering myself? I'm like, don't give more than you can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you obviously were set at Belgrade University last season. Are we going to see an expanded universe a bit? Maybe other orders oh. and other universities? Oh. You know what? I don't know. But that would be a really cool idea. So not yet, I suppose. I guess <laughs> not. Well, we, I've only read the first two episodes, so I don't know much more than I'm actually giving you guys. Yeah. <laughs> what was it that first attracted you to the project? Like, overall, the first one, were you a fan of, like, the supernatural genre? Um, I've always been a Harry Potter fan, so I think as soon as I heard that magic was involved, I was like, I'm in. I am so in. Um, 
and yeah, like the fantasy elements, and uh, especially the comedy. I think it's like cool to have like the horror mixed with the comedy and making people laugh. That's what I'm, I'm sure it breaks up the tension too, because it's like you have that little bit of humor. Yeah. And you break up. Some yeah, absolutely. <laughs> will she be experiencing? Will she be interacting with more types of new magic this season? Yes, there's definitely different spells and definitely more magic coming. That's what I can definitely listen to. Anything you can share? Yeah, I'm Let's see, so then sort of dive a little bit into the collective unconsciousness and, you know, looking and um, listening to people who essentially were dead and sort of getting yes. their memories back. Is that going to be, because the fact that your character has killed so many people, right. is that going to have a repercussion in the second season at all? Because they're essentially, they're gone but not gone. Yeah. So. Um, not that I know of so far from the two episodes that I read, but maybe potentially somewhere. Maybe they did this on purpose, just giving us the first two <laughs> episodes so we don't say a lot, but uh, I have no idea. Is that something you'd like to see? Like, what would pass the kind of outside yeah, story? Yeah, absolutely like not. Because if she's, she's hurt so many people, she doesn't want to hear back from them. You know? No, absolutely not. <laughs> well, since you can't say much about them. 